welcome back to a Pearl and Edgar Canal Slip Seer. This is CLA Language Arts 600, Book 5. Your view from the back of my classroom. Okay, sixth grade lesson 12, direct or indirect quotations. Well, let's look at this sentence. What are the demonstrative pronouns? Those. Any more? These. These. <coughs> How is this demonstrative pronoun used? Is it a pronoun or an adjective? Adjective. It's an adjective modifying the rules. And is this one a pronoun or an adjective? Pronoun. It's a pronoun. Just say these. There's nothing else we can talk about. Okay, where does a colon go in these sentences? Do we use a colon? If so, where does it go? These creatures are often found near water, turtle salamanders, and otters. Yes, after water. After water. Passes the test. It doesn't come after a verb, doesn't come after a preposition, and these creatures are often found near water. That is a complete thought. We can end right there. And look. Yeah, another demonstrative thing. Another demonstrative pronoun. Is it being used as an adjective or a pronoun? Yeah, adjective. Adjective, modifying creatures. Okay, the new lesson is changing direct quotations to indirect quotations or direct indirect quotations to direct quotations. What we mean is a direct quotation is the exact words that someone said. An indirect quotation is he said he said we should do the lesson. But a direct quotation would be John said you should do the lesson. So we even change we put names in, we change pronouns so we know exactly who we're talking about. But a direct quotation will have quotation marks, and it's the direct exact word someone said. An indirect quotation is like you telling someone else what someone else said, kind of what they said. You're not saying, you didn't say this exactly, but you know, something kind of to the effect of. Stay away from the snake, mother warned Jack. How can we change it to an indirect quotation? Mother warned Jack to stay away from the snake. Good. Mother warned Jack to stay away from the snake. Which one's more interesting? The direct one. The direct quotations are usually more punchy, more exciting, so that when you write, you shouldn't say, the boy said, the teacher said that we should go to skip to school on time. No, you should have. Mr. John said, you must get to school on time. It will make your writing more interesting to try to use direct quotations, but we want to be able to know how to use both. Questions? No. Nope. Okay, direct quotations get quotation marks, and they're the exact words.